The International Commission on Missing Persons has come a long way since its creation at the end of the Bosnian War. It was 1996 and the world was trying to account for 40,000 missing people. The organisation identified nearly all of the 8,000 remains from the Srebrenica massacre, evidence used against former Bosnian Serb general Ratko Mladic. Now more than 20 years on, it has unveiled a mass-scale human DNA laboratory system to solve cold cases from disasters and conflict. It's not just a humanitarian exercise or one in which the families of the missing just simply want closure. Uh, we need to open the door to ensuring the rights also to justice and to truth and to reparations. And that is a very new and very modern approach. When a tsunami hit Thailand in December 2004, Linda Gudmundsen and her one-year-old daughter were swept away to their deaths. Oh, you don't know how many thoughts I had. Perhaps they have lost her. She couldn't talk. She was in some hospital far away. Or Yes, yes, yes. It was so many thoughts. ICMP eventually matched their DNA and solved the case. And many more are missing in conflicts around the world. 64,000 people are reported missing following Colombia's decades-long conflict with the FARC. Sri Lanka acknowledges some 65,000 people went missing in its war against Tamil Tiger rebels. The same number have disappeared in Syria since 2011. And in Iraq, estimates range between 250,000 to a million. The agency's forensic experts have travelled to mass graves like this one of Yazidis in northern Iraq. In total, they have helped to identify 20,000 people. Science is moving quickly. Politics and human nature are still lagging behind and probably are the biggest impediment uh, to securing justice. The hope is that resolving more missing persons cases will help countries put their past behind them. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.